All right, here we go again. This is unscripted. I keep running into people online who are far right or far left and they're advocating for armed insurrection to overthrow the government. Now, I've explained in previous videos that I am a three inhaler asthmatic person. Uh, and I've said, I explained that because I can't participate in an armed revolt, I find it unethical to advocate for an armed revolt. So, you know, if civil society broke down and I could no longer get my inhalers, I could either flee the country or I could slowly die over a period of a few months. Now, I'm not the only person who has this general category of problem if civil society collapses. People who need dialysis, people who need insulin, well insulin can't be refrigerated, what about the, uh, what about the uh, electricity? Uh, any, anyone who needs medications to survive is dependent upon civil society being there to give it to them. And if you take down civil society, then those people can either flee the country or die. There is millions of those people. So you're ma so if you choose revolution when it is not absolutely necessary, you choose for those people to die. You are essentially volunteering them to die for your cause. So those revolutionaries who are on the left actually claim to care about the disadvantaged people who are much more likely to die in that scenario because the financial well-off can always evacuate the country if things get out of hand, and they will evacuate the country if that happens. Um, but let me put this a little further. If food, electricity, and water purification, all those, if those essential items are not coming into any given area on trucks, then people will start to die. No water means, the me no clean water means the medical system goes down people start to die. Ferries are blockaded, people in the blockaded area will start to die. Eighty percent of people nowadays live in the cities. If a city is in rebellion, the government is likely to blockade it and people will, a lot of people will die from no food, no water, no medicine. I'm trying to impress on you, not that revolution is beyond the pale. I'm trying to impress on you that regardless of how it happens, it's going to take a long time and it's going to kill millions of people. I'm not saying that it won't have to happen, but I am saying we really, really, really ought to try nonviolent civil resistance. According to data taken from a poll, it is possible that up to 
25 million people have marched against police brutality since May. 25 million people is enough to pull off what's called a color revolution or a nonviolent revolution. If we can pull that kind of numbers for change, we can force change nonviolently. It's just a matter of organizing it and getting it together because nonviolent tactics have to be done with organization and discipline if they're going to work. So, again, I'm not totally in opposition to revolution. I just, nobody should want to go there. And if you want to go there, you really haven't thought how horrible it would be if it happens. Or maybe you're sociopathic and you're willing to climb over a hill of bodies if it gets you where you want to go. And if you're willing to climb over a hill of bodies to get to where you want to go, uh, I find you really disturbing. Okay? Sorry. Have a good night.